McPhee? How we doing? McPhee? How we doing? Rapid fire, would you rather? You ready to go? Yeah, let's get it. Okay, would you rather be two inches taller or have $100,000? Probably two inches taller, I'm pretty sure. You take that over $100,000? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, would you rather have two arms, one leg, two legs, and one arm? Two legs, Three. one arm. Nice. Uh, would you rather never wear the color blue or never wear the color green for the rest of your life? Blue, for sure. Never wear blue? Yeah, blue. I can't sure. go without it. Yeah. Would you rather never do another Christmas or never do another Halloween? Halloween, for sure. Christmas is the best. Would you rather have a dog or a cat? Dog. Come on. Would you rather have three dogs or one cat? Three dogs, bro. Would you rather have ten dogs or one cat? It's pushing it, but I'm going ten dogs, dude. You'd have ten dogs before you had one cat. Yeah, I'd have to have a big farm, though. Would you rather have pineapple on every pizza you have for the rest of your life or never have pineapple on pizza ever? Uh, probably never have pineapple on pizza again, honestly. You'd never have it ever again? Yeah. It's so cracked though. It is really good, but every single pizza I have has that pineapple on it. Yeah, everything ever. And speaking of pineapple on pizza, a huge thank you to Domino's for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We ordered two large pizzas for all the boys here, and I need your guys' opinion on something. So this is my order. Mills already took a whack out of it. <laughs> what do you think about pineapple on pizza? I'm an avid lover, I think it's amazing, but I don't know, some people absolutely hate it. Let me know in the comments. But Domino's has been an absolute game changer for my lifestyle. We play video games all the time and Domino's is the perfect pairing. These boxes right here will absolutely fuel our next gaming session. It's great as leftovers and it's super easy to get with carry out or delivery. And they even gave me a discount code MMG. So head over to dominoes.com, use my code MMG, MG to get 20% off menu priced items. Domino's, I can't wait to eat the rest of this with the boys tonight. And thank you for sponsoring that portion of the video. Enjoy the rest. Would you rather? Oh boy. This is here, this is a classic, dude. Absolute classic. We're just gonna pull some of the craziest questions that we can think of off our brain. And we're gonna use the combined brain power of all the absolute genius intelligence we have in the room right now. Me, Chase, Fubert, Tarn, Mill, Shane. Lots of brain power going on here. You said, would you rather two inches or $100,000? you would take the two inches. Yes. Then I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna up the ante. Would you rather have two inches of ice or a million dollars? I'd probably take a mil. You would take the million, yeah. okay. Yeah. Two inches or $200,000. I think my cutoff would be. Yeah, what's your buying point? Probably 500K for two inches. So someone said 400K. Well, it's true though. Yeah. Cause you can make 500K. Yeah, I mean you can make. You can't any. make two inches. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and 500 might even be low. See, the thing is we're dealing we're dealing with being short. Yeah, we're you, dealing with you being six short. foot five kids, yeah. I'll just take the money. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Exactly. Okay, how about this one inch or $100,000? Hundred thousand dollars for sure. You see, because yeah. one inch doesn't do me any good. Yeah. But like two inches, I feel like I could really pretend exactly. to be six. Exactly. Foot. Yeah. One so inch if you gave me two like inches one. and then I put on some Doc Martens or some Vapor Maxes, mm -hmm. I'm six foot. Six one. I'm six six, six nine, baby. Okay. Would you rather have done something horrible and nobody knows, or everybody thinks you did something horrible <sighs> except you didn't do it? Dude, that's so tough. Because in one sense, like nobody bothers you except you actually did it. Like you live with it. Yeah. And the other sense everyone hates you but you know confidently you didn't do it i think that second one you just said i think at some point you're gonna start to believe that you did something bad you know what i'm saying oh like people would make you think you did yeah like you might as well have done something bad right at some point but i oh dude that's so hard uh, what would you do oh. i would rather have done uh, i'd rather have done something horrible and nobody knows i think that's yeah i think i'd have to go with that one too. <sighs> that's a tough one though that would be so tough am i a horrible person for that no no you're good would you rather have sticky hands or sticky feet like permanently sticky yeah so if like anything you touch you pretty much have to like you gotta pry like, it off mm. so if i clap yeah you gotta unstick them from yeah the you'd shoulder. have to like peel yeah and then you might even feet. need someone's help. I guess you go sticky feet, right? It just makes putting your socks on and off really uncomfortable. It I doesn't stick through my shoe, right? No, no, no. Sticky feet, baby. Sticky I'm going feet. sticky hands because I'm going to be the world's best free climber there is. <laughs> I don't even need to use my legs. I didn't think about career options. I can just go up the Empire State Dude, you're building. literally Spider-Man. Yeah. Do you control it though? Do you control how much it sticks? I think it's just Because otherwise you're gonna be on the Empire State Building like Whoop. It's just a constant just. Oh, that's tough. All right, I like that though. Yeah. I'm still those sticky feet. Okay. That'd just be a hassle. Would you rather have a vivid, crazy dream every single night 
or never dream. Is it like a scary dream? It's just really vivid. Like, you know when you wake up from a crazy dream yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. oh, it's a dream. It's not necessarily a nightmare, but it's every single night. You never just get to like close your eyes and then wake up. See, I love having dreams, but every single night, I might never have a dream again. I think I'd never have a, oh, that's such a cool experience to have though. I would just to be scared of getting scary one. ones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you can't really control that. Yeah, and then you wake up and you're like. Because I'd go never, dude. Oh, every single night though, you're just conk and then you're up. Oh, I that like would it. be scary. I don't know if I'd like that. Would you rather never see a lake or never see an ocean for the rest of your life? Ocean. You'd never see an ocean and you would then get to see the lakes? Yeah. You could never see the ocean, bro. You can't go to Florida. You can't go to California. You I can't mean, you go could to... go there. You just, you just gotta Wait, close, yeah, every, you just gotta no, close every your eyes. Every, it's like a video <laughs> game. Every time you turn and look, it just doesn't load. <laughs> It's just a black. I was just thinking like being on boats and stuff, you're always on lakes. So you could never go out on like your boat again or jet skiing in general. I've never been out on a jet ski in the ocean. Really. I don't think I'd want to, they kind of scare me. They do it in Florida though. Yeah. They go brazy out there. Yeah, in the ocean there's sharks and stuff that'll mess you up. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, okay, there's a good one. Would you rather be stuck in a cage with sharks attacking you or with tigers attacking you? So they're outside the cage attacking the cage. Is, are you gonna get messed up? Or are you just uh, like experiencing no, it? No, no guarantees. They could, <laughs> they could, they could bust through. Oh gosh. Basically, someone says you have to choose one. Which one do you choose? Probably sharks. You would take oh. the sharks. Oh my god. Over the no. I just, I think you have maybe a, the slightest more chance to survive a shark Bruh. than a tiger. Sharks are so scary. Yeah, Basically they both are. Fear. Especially being in the water. You're... I would way rather have a tiger coming straight at me, bro. I don't even care. I saw a tiger king. Dogs <laughs> are not. -uh. They're fine, dude. Sharks are so scary. That's a good one. What would you guys rather get attacked by a shark or a tiger? Bro. Oh, fuck. It's a shark. I'd rather get attacked You'd rather get attacked by a shark? <laughs> dude, a shark would be horrifying. You're literally looking into the deep depths of the ocean and there's nothing there. Oh, like a shark. And then two like, seconds like, later. You're not like standing on the shoreline and the shark comes well, he said we were in a cage. Yeah, there's no, absolute no chance of the tiger. So you would rather the shark, right? Yeah. I'd rather the tiger. Would you rather be seven foot two or five foot? Way too tall or way too short? That's such a tough one. Cause if you're seven foot two, you can't, dude, you can't get in a normal car. But you can go to the league. But yeah, like everything would, everything. dude, I would hit my head on this. If you're five foot, dude, it's you're so like a little, you're like a squirrel, bro. <laughs> it's so inconvenient everything, everything to be that Everything's so short. convenient. No, dude, you're like a little monkey. You could just, <laughs> dude, you could do anything with ease. Getting in your oh, car. So you're picking that? Taking the groceries. You're picking that then? I would rather be five foot than seven foot. I'm going seven two, cause like you said, I'm just gonna go play basketball or be an NFL wide receiver. NFL wide receiver is seven foot yeah. two? I won't even need a jump, I'll just stand there. Bruh. Go down there, <laughs> throw it to me. You're like a center. Would you rather be a professional basketball player or professional football player? Football, for sure. For I sure? love football, yeah. I think I I'd be a stand. professional NBA player. I think, I I'd think be a professional it's definitely, definitely better to be basketball just on your body. Oh, totally. Football's so hard on your body, totally. but I think I just like football a lot more. Totally. I mean, everybody so. praises Tom Brady, but like, you're a quarterback. There are no halfbacks doing what he did. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know Frank Gore went for a while. Maybe it's possible. I'd be a professional basketball player, though. If you're yeah. a professional basketball player, it'd be fun. What position? Center. <laughs> I'd 100% be center. I'd be a post-scoring demon, dude. So Don't you'd talk be 7'2", like we said. No, I'll be five foot. <laughs> Because I got to pick to be five foot and I got to be picked to be a professional NBA player. So now I'm Muggsy Bows. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Would you rather win the Super Bowl or the college football national championship? <laughs> Some people get both. I feel like you'd almost have to say Super Bowl, but. Super Bowl sounds so much bigger. I don't know. I mean, what if you just like, what if you just got traded to the team and then you won the Super Bowl, whatever. Yeah, no, see, there's a lot of variables. Dude, there's a lot of variables. College football is heart and soul and blood. Yeah. I think in general, I, I like college more, so I'd go college, but NFL is like the top tier. Like you are the top dog. There's so many variables, I don't know. What would you do? I think I'd do college football national championship. Super Bowl is awesome, but those guys are getting paid. College football national championship, they're literally, well I guess NIL, they're getting paid a little bit now. Yeah. But they're just rolling in there. Right. Blood, sweat, and tears. The heart of Nick Saban. <sighs> Going to the chip, baby. <laughs> Would you rather be a heavily paid backup? So you never touch the field, mm -hmm. NFL. You never touch the field, yeah. but you're getting paid bread. 
or you're a starter and you get paid like nothing. Let's give, like, let's give it real numbers. You'd be your backup who gets 10 mil, you're a starter who gets 500K. Definitely backup. Okay, definitely so now, backup. now let me switch it. Would you rather be a backup getting one mil or a starter getting 10? Starter getting 10. What? Would you rather be a backup? <laughs> it makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. Would you rather be a backup getting one mil or a starter getting one mil? Starter. Yeah. You'd actually be a starter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Even I might though just collect my check. I was just gonna say, yeah, it, it it's definitely worse on your body to be a starter, clearly. But... And the ridicule, dude. Imagine having one bad game and then all your Twitter, Instagram, every social media, anybody you talk yeah, to, yeah, you gotta stay off. It's just stuff. shitting on you. Yeah. If you're a backup. Nobody ever speaks to you. Well, yeah, and if you get in the you. game and you don't even do that good, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Because you're backup. He's like, oh, no the, really the, the backup only threw one interception. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if you're the starter, Chase McFee's literally the worst quarterback yeah. who's ever played for this organization. I'm going to burn his house to the ground. I think I'd want to be the starter. I'd want that so ah, I bad. see what you mean. Would you rather be a shark or a lion? A lion, for sure. Dude, sharks are so savage. They're so scary, but that'd be lit. Because I'm so scared of the ocean. Yeah. But if I was a shark, I wouldn't be scared of the yeah, ocean. Yeah, there's nothing to be scared of. I'm like the apex predator yeah. of the ocean. So I would just bust down into like, dude, I gotta say it was good as SpongeBob. <laughs> so it was good as Sandy. Just looking bad. Would you, fish. you kind of asked me this one. Would you rather have like four Fuberts? Four Fuberts? But you could only ever have that breed for like the rest of your life. Or one Fubert. But I can have whatever dog I want. Yeah. I do four foo birds. I just want some oids, dude. Some <laughs> okay. are so goaded. Where's okay. Goofbert? Okay. Would you rather always be hot? Like a little bit too hot. Yeah. Or a little bit too cold. No matter what you do, no matter how oh. many blankets or sweaters or shirts you put on, you're two degrees too hot. Or you're two degrees too cold. I think I'd have to say hot. You'd be too hot. I know, because I love Bruh, to sleep when to it's bed? cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're never feeling. No, you're good. not. It doesn't matter how many blankets good. you get no, on. It's yeah. never gonna take your temperature up. Oh, that's so tough. It would be a really tough one. I'd probably just have to say cold, I guess. I think I would go cold too. I don't know though. If you're always hot, you're always ready. You're always limber. You know, you're always ready to work out. You're always ready for a little right. jog. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Could you're always loose you're hot. Up. Would you rather be a skier or a snowboarder? Snowboarder. Right. Would you rather be a really good skier or an average snowboarder? I'd be a really good skier. It feels like there's a lot of money in skiing, but it doesn't yeah. feel like there's a lot of money in snowboarding. Yeah. I feel like you could get paid a lot of money to be an, a, an above average skier. Would you rather be able to run at 30 miles an hour or fly at one mile an hour? That was so good. Would you rather be able to run at 30 miles per hour or fly at one one mile per hour. Run, for sure. Dude, how sick though. Something is 60 miles away. You're like, I'll just run. <laughs> I'll just run there. I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> Your grandma's like, can you pick me up from the airport? <laughs> I'm 60 miles away. Yeah, be there in two. Just <laughs> all the way down the someone airport. run 30 miles Fucking an hour. Fucking pop granny on your back. <laughs> one mile an hour is just way too slow to be flying. It'd be nice though, yeah, I mean, but yeah, if you wanted to go 60 miles, it would take you 60 hours. Yeah, that would, that's so, yeah, that. But terrible. you can fly. Why do you like flying? You like flying because it gets you places conveniently, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. It's not convenient if it's one mile per hour. No. It's gotta be at least half as fast as an actual airplane. I have no clue how fast those go. Those go like five, 600 miles an hour, I feel like. So I have to go 300. No, I would, I would go, if I could fly at 70 miles an hour, I would still do you, that. Well, then if you could fly at 70, you can run at 500. Oh, yeah, you probably run then. 500 miles per hour running, dude. Are you kidding me? Final question here, boys. We gotta make this a good one. Would you rather have super strength as a superpower or super speed? You could either have the strength of the Hulk or you can have the speed of the Flash. Probably speed. Speed is so cool. Just yeah. running really fast would just be so nuts. It'd be cool to be super strong, but I think it'd be cooler to be super fast. Yeah, I don't think super strong is like very functional. It's functional in superhero movies, but also I'm not fighting Thanos. <laughs> no. I don't need super then, strength. Yeah, you don't need super strength. But super speed, dude, you oh could my just, It's just so convenient. God, you could you go could, anywhere so fast. You could do all your chores in like five seconds. Yeah. Everything would, dude, I could build the pyramids. <laughs> Oh my God. Just run in circles to create a tornado. There's so many things. You can rob a bank and nobody <laughs> yeah. would know. In and out so fast. Would you rather have to hit legs Ugh. every single time you go to the gym? I'm doing the other thing. 
<laughs> I'm doing the other thing. I don't care what it is, Chase. I'm doing it. You can say literally whatever you want. But I'd rather hit legs every day in the gym, dude. <laughs> it takes every ounce of brain power I have to do it once a month. Okay, how about every time you go to the gym, you have to squat? I can or... do that. I can do that. You'd rather every time you go to the gym, have to squat yeah. or every time you go to the gym, you have to do 200 pull-ups. I squat. I squat every time. What about 100 pull-ups? I'd still squat. I don't mind squatting. A whole yeah. leg day though, I would do 200 pull-ups before I did a whole leg day every day. All right, boys, we'll let that be our last one. We hope you guys enjoyed. We wanted to do more videos like this, so we hope you guys loved it. Uh, and let us know what you would have done in the comments. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.